Hey, what is going on, party people? Greg Jenkins here from House Monkey Pod. Um, I wanted to share with you a quick video that demonstrates some real-world use cases for ChatGPT. So just to be abundantly clear, ChatGPT is a artificial intelligence chat bot that you can use to ask and answer questions or to produce text copy for any number of reasons. So in this use case, uh, Grady, shout out to Grady for letting me use this example, was trying to get ChatGPT to help produce copy for a variety of purposes. Um, a script for a webinar, bullet points for a blog post, um, a script for a Instagram reel, a different email copy, right? All of those different use cases um, are, are documented here in this example. And what I thought was particularly interesting is not just the diverse ways he was using it, but also the, the back and forth conversation he had as he had to make corrections or adjustments to the copy that ChatGPT was producing. So um, if you are looking for a good example of how to use ChatGPT in your business, look no further. Um, thanks to Grady for, for documenting and sharing this example. Enjoy. Hey, so I'm having just a great time today with ChatGPT. Um, I asked, what are five reasons small businesses should be using lifecycle automation? And, you know, it gave me some great responses. These are solid details. If you want to read them, pause and you can read them while they scroll. But, you know, I, I, I'm always nervous about, about working with robots because I've seen Terminator 2 and I was like 11 when it came out and it scarred me. So I said, thank you. Can I call you chatty? I want to, you know, make sure that she is on her side. Um, and of course she's amiable to that. So I say, chatty, can you break those points into more sustainable? Uh, succinct, uh, sorry, to be more succinct, so I can use them as an Instagram carousel because carousels are getting pretty hot right now. And she gave me this one, and it's pretty long. Um, and so I said, it's too many, Chatty, uh, but you really put in great effort because, again, you got to be nice to the robots because they will rise up one day. Um, but can you make that into six slides? Let's be, be more brief. So she did. She gave me a, a more brief version of that. And as my mind starts kind of flowing, I'm like, man, this is great content. What can I do with this? I told her that. I said, great job, Chatty. This sounds like it'd be a great blog post. I think I'll make the CTA of the carousel. I think I'll make that blog post the CTA of the carousel post. Can you make a blog post for these points that includes quotes from industry experts uh, and stats that back up those points? All quotes and stats need links to the source. If that isn't too much trouble, again, gotta be polite. Um, and she botched it. It's mostly just like quotes, data, um, and and no real links to sources, which are what I really wanted. Um, and so I wasn't really happy. Uh, but the cool thing I, I realized is that. You guys call it Greg Head. So I told her that, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. He has, she actually used to run the marketing team for Keep. Uh, so again, great job, Chatty. Unfortunately, Chatty, this post is a little too heavy with quotes and data. Can you rewrite it with some friendly language and write it in a way that uh, makes people feel uh, like they really want to implement this in their business? Maybe even like use Keep to do it, you know? Um, and she gives me one, and it's just starting out of just like pushing uh, information that isn't cited in anything. You can see point one. No quotes, no stats. So I'm saying no chatty. Oh yeah, and it's like leaning heavy in the keep. So I'm just like no chatty. Like lifecycle automation is a star of the show. Keep should be soft promoted at the at the uh, end of the article once they get bought into the idea of LCA. So she does a great job of starting to change it. But then again, that's when I realize uh, she forgot all the quotes and the stats. And so um, you know I believe in her though because she can do this. But she went back to like the original post that she gave me, which is like really heavy in chat uh, and stats and in um, and stats. There's a little bit of more friendly language, but not enough. And so I let her know, chatty, please. Um, this is the same post as the one you made earlier. I would like a post that combines the benefits of friendly language that make people really want to implement it uh, to their business with the quotes and the sales. And so she gives me this one down below, and it's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like it kind of, you know, matches, you know, all those things together. And I like that each point has like an example of keep, you know, it's a little bit forward, um, but it's not too heavy handed. And um, it kind of says like, you know, do these things and you can use keep to do it. So I think that's an idea of like you get benefit from the article and enhancement from keep, which is really the feel I want. So I said, well, you surprised me, Chatty. Um, I like the keep tie-ins underneath each point. That sounds like a great webinar idea. Because, you know, like, why not use this content in more places? Will you write me a 30-minute webinar outline on these points? It should include actionable ideas that anyone can do, but at the end, pitch keep as a best way to make it happen. 
So she's giving me some ideas here. Pretty solid outline. Um, but I feel like it's too heavy handed now with keep. I get works in the blog post, but it's not going to work in the webinar. I got to get them bought in first. And so I tell her, no, chatty, don't talk about keep until at the end of the webinar. I want people to get the value from the content alone. They should feel like keep, it shouldn't feel like keeps a hard sell. Um, but she of course corrects for me and makes these changes and it's looking pretty solid. Like, yeah, I could, I could give this as a webinar and I think it'd be really powerful. So I let Chatty know, wow, I like it, Chatty. I got to promote this thing. Give me a second, 60 second real script I can use to provide value and then use the webinar as a CTA. So she gives me this one here and it's just mostly like a talking to the camera, which I'm not a fan of it as, as much ironic as what I'm doing right now. Um, I like more of the fun reels. That's what I, I'm really into. Um, and so it's great. Uh, sorry to interrupt you though, Chatty. I, I, I need like camera shot suggestions, blocking too. Maybe I can even emulate some reels that are trending right now. And it's great. She gave me these really cool uh, shot by shot explanations. The only problem is I feel like it's just promoting the webinar. I want it to have value. So I let her know um, one that I love that she's including like a wink. I like, I like winking. It's kind of a personality thing. Um, but I want to be more, more focused on providing value in the reel. Um, and, you know, I got to serve before I start asking them to do something for me. So she, she gets it. And so she's doing more of the, the benefit piece now. You know, things, she brings in some of the points into the conversation that I can use. Um, but it's still not enough. So I let her know that. And again, value. So I give her, like, based off of the five points, that was a good thing that she did. So she gives it to me a new version. And this time, it's leaning more into those five points. In fact, I hold up a piece of paper that says, you know, the name of each five-point thing. Um, or, get, or it's a close-up of it, which is cool. I like that idea. That's, that's unique. Um, so it looks great. So I also make like a 30 second version, um, but use a different reels template for it. So it looks unique. Uh, and it's good. She gave me a quick one. Um, you know, easy ways to streamline. It looks great. So I say, Chatty, how would you recommend I show that I'm feeling happy? Because one of these things that she says here is, you know, um, you're feeling overwhelmed and the before and after is you're smiling and you feel happy with your small business. Like, I don't know how to portray that. Like I'm happy with my small business. Uh, and so I let her know, like, you know, how would you recommend that I'm feeling happy? I've also got an email list. I'm going to need a copy. I'm going to need the copy and a layout description of the landing page to register for this thing. And so she gives me a really good landing page outline here. Talks about the benefits of showing up, but it's all text. I need something more than that. So I let her know, Chatty, how do you feel about using imaging and colors? I'm really fond of keep green, keep blue, and keep gold. Um, and you know, she kind of leans into her robot heart. That's fine. She's a robot, but I need her to, to give me some ideas. And so I ask her, how can I use those colors and images with the copy? Can you give me a layout that includes more design elements chatty? And here she does. She gives me like a hero image recommendation, subtext, breaking it up by sections, colored backgrounds, um, speaker section. Now she's got the speaker as Greg head, but I know who I do want to bring in and that's Greg Jenkins. He's awesome. So I'm going to have her bring that in. And she gives me a, kind of a version of it, but now promoting Greg Jenkins. But I love that it gives me an outline. And uh, she even asked, like, I hope this meets your needs. Like, yes, Chatty, it does. Uh, can you write me three emails to keep prospects to drive them to the registration page? Emails should feel friendly and inspirational. Think Ted Lasso style. Um, and she does a great job of giving me some, some great emails here. You know, they're pretty succinct, but they're upbeat, positive. Uh, I love the idea that's pretty conversational. Like, are you tired of this? You know, I've got something that might interest you. It's, you know, kind of a tease there. I do notice that, man, Chatty loves talking about taking businesses to the next level. Like, it is a cliche now for me that I can't stand. Um, and she keeps using it. So I got to figure out something around that one. Because I've told her several times to stop using it. All right, cool. Third email here. Nice, Chatty. Uh, can you create a confirmation day before reminder and day of reminder? Um, these should really enforce the idea of attending live and the benefits they're going to get if they attend. Um, and it looks pretty great. I don't see a ton of like show up live content here, um, but that's okay. You know, I do like that it's pretty succinct and clear. And since I'm happy with that, maybe I should make some Instagram stories uh, the day before to promote it. You know, last second, last call kind of stuff. Can you give me three ideas? Maybe a mix of imaging and videos. And I like to include like the engagement tools Instagram has. And remember, Chatty, they need to provide value to the viewers. And it's great. She gives me some great story outlines here. 
um, that promote the webinar, um, also ones that are benefits that they're going to get at the webinar, and then one here talking about you know the points we're going to cover. So again, bringing in those five points. I might ask for more details here if I needed them, but I'm happy with this. So I tell her, great work, Chatty. Looks like I have work to do, and I'll see you later, alligator. And boom, like totally missed it. Like we were this close to greatness. So I let her know that her robot heart is not that, that great yet. Uh, and I tell her that the actual response is after wild crocodile. And of course, then she apologizes and she gets it. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, another shout out to Grady from Keep and specifically the Keep Academy team for, um, for documenting this experience. I learned a lot just by watching it. I hope that you have some examples that maybe you can take away and use for your business. If you have ideas or, or other use cases you want to share, please do so in the comments below this video. Otherwise, feel free to share this with anyone that you think it can serve. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all of those things help as well. Thanks for watching. Take care.